Okay, this is my second round with the uh, Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chrono. And this is a different bow. This is my Dossalite with custom limbs on it. And it has a serious advantage in that, A, it's being shot off a weather rest instead of the shelf, like the Gelo. B, it's got a custom made string that's about two thirds the strand count. And it also has uh, a much better knock fit. So I'm expecting this bow to be much faster at 42 pounds than the 40 pounds on the, on the Gelo Ghost. But let's see. Two hundred. I predicted that this bow would be over one ninety, maybe as high as two oh five a couple of weeks ago. Apparently I wasn't that far off. One ninety seven. And this, you know, <laughs> this is blowing me away, really. One ninety-eight. Same deal. Hope I don't accidentally turn my camera off because it's all uh, magnified and whatnot. Get it go down and there it is this is uh, this is a DOS elite riser it's a 21 inch riser making a uh, 62 inch bow uh, I actually have it set at 42 pounds on my fingers at 27 and a half inches which is two pounds more than the GLO ghost um, and what can I say I mean there's like a, a few feet of difference. 198. And that's off a uh, very expensive riser. The riser cost me almost as much as the entire G Lobo, which is hanging up over here in all its glory. And as long as I'm at it, might as well have, go ahead and show you folks, you know, the limbs blow me away because they're, they're uh, you know, very economically priced at about $320, but they have carbon in them. And the laminates are, are uh, both tapered. Well, the, the front one looks like it may be consistent, but the back one, you can see it gets down to a, a paper thin line right there at the tip where I don't even know if you guys can see that it's like it almost disappears to nothing I mean literally paper thin anyways there you go